Good afternoon, everybody. So today we have with us uh, Sharmily Reddy, who is incoming director of PDS of Kenton County, which is uh, Planning and Development Services of Kenton County. Uh, Sharmily, you um, uh, started out in PDS years ago, and then you have recently been city manager of Fort Mitchell, and I'd love to, we want to talk to you about your work there and, uh, and also about PDS. So first of all, thanks for sharing with us uh, your, the experiences, what's been going on the past number of months, and coming on with us. Thank you for having me, Judge. So let's first of all talk about uh, City of Fort Mitchell and COVID-19. So you were city manager there, uh, just a crazy, uh, a crazy time for all, but you immediately had to put some things into place there with the mayor and the city council. Uh, share with us what, you, what you were your first steps in dealing with COVID-19. Um, obviously, Judge, we had the same uh, things we internally to deal with that all, all the other cities had to in terms of uh, some of our staff working from home and different things like that. But obviously our first responders being in the building and trying to, to make it safe for them to, to be in the building. So we had to shut it down to the public and, and do different things like that. But on the external end, uh, we tried to do some outreach to our seniors to see if they would need any assistance during that time. So we had a ton of community members that reached out and, want, and, and offered to help. Uh, just with simple things like groceries and cutting the yard and things like that. Um, and then we did, um, with the blessing of mayor and council, we did, in, did implement a small business grant program. Um, in a very short time frame, council, uh, mayor and council saw the need to assist our local businesses. And if anybody knows Fort Mitchell, we're, you know, we're very small business focused. Um, sure. So... Uh, to, to have that money immediately available to our businesses and develop a process that was going to be quick and easy for them to, to go through yet accountable on the public fund uh, and was really important to all of us. So in a matter of two weeks, we were able to um, get it approved from council and then uh, put the grant out and get the money in the hands of these small businesses. So there were a lot of efforts like that um, in the city just focused on helping our residents and helping our, our businesses as well. Well, and it's a testament to the group there at Fort Mitchell working from businesses and the seniors, it's fantastic. So now you're stepping in this new role um, as director of PDS. And uh, oftentimes the community, uh, things happen behind the scenes and don't know what these things are about. So what exactly is PDS? Uh, PDS is a, it's a multi-jurisdictional planning agency that, that basically serves uh, the communities in Kenton County. Um, and we have 20, we have 20 different jurisdictions in this city. And a lot of us, a lot of people probably know us as the organization that, uh, you know, does inspections, provides permits, uh, creates maps and different things like that. But we also help our communities do some comprehensive planning to, to think ahead and uh, try and put some things in place that's gonna help uh, you know, move our community forward. So we have a lot of different things that we do, but, but basically we are the, uh, you know, we're a multi-jurisdictional multi uh, planning agency for, for our communities. And so, and I know of course the group to be very supportive and a key a partner with what happens in Kenton County and supporting the fiscal court. Uh, but in all the while this COVID uh, pandemic has been going on, uh, we've had to minimize our office uh, in, in terms of person-to-person -person contact, but PDS has continued to do work, and it's, uh, your predecessor or your future predecessor uh, obviously had the continued team to uh, do the work of permitting, et cetera. Maybe you can talk to us about the economy and uh, the things that we're trying to uh, operate while the pandemic has been uh, in impacting our uh, community. Uh, yeah, thanks to uh, past efforts, Judge, we have been going electronic for a little while on plan reviews and issuing permits and different things like that. So I kind of feel like those efforts were really instrumental in putting us uh, at a point where we were able to quickly respond, um, you know, not really have any public interaction, but have folks submit their plans electronically, carry out inspections in the field in a safe manner. Um, and issue permits as and when they came in. So uh, we really haven't skipped a beat here. Um, business is still moving forward with all the things that we have to do because we understand that what we do affects the folks out in the community trying to build our community. So uh, we've been really responsive to all the requests that have been coming, coming in, in in a timely manner or even expedite them if needed in order to assist with that recovery. Um, 
And I noticed, and, and of course, I, I know pretty closely that uh, as essential services, building has continued on. Uh, businesses are trying to grow, uh, finish their space, et cetera, and all that requires permitting and whatnot. Uh, so the, the, those teams have continued to been able to support the private sector to be able to get these things done while we're dealing with this pandemic. Absolutely, Judge. In fact, um, we were looking at some of the data from the last three months and comparing it to activity the last year. Um, and what's interesting is on the street inspection, and uh, we've actually inspected about 1,600 uh, lineal feet of, of street, new street in Kent County just in the month of May. Um, and, and why that number is a, is a good indication is that if there's going to be a new street, then it's going to follow up with new lots, it's going to follow up with new homes, new permits, and different things like that. So, and that is actually higher than what we normally see even pre-pandemic. Uh, but again, you know, there's always a caveat. I don't, I don't think anybody has a crystal ball to know where this economy is going, uh, but at least for the, from a street construction standpoint, we've been ahead. Um, building permit data is showing that um, you know, typically we are about 80 to 90 permits per month um, on the building end, and that's additions, buildings, fire alarms, different things like that. We've been down a little bit in May, um, but overall, I mean, we're down to about 60, 65 permits. That's not, uh, you know, as drastic as, as, uh, uh, as I, I think some would have expected. Um, on the zoning end, it's kind of the same thing. We're seeing some reduction in May, but, uh, but not so much. But what's interesting is we did see an increase on the residential end, uh, just in terms of improvements, home improvements and things like that, that people reach out for permits. In April, it actually spiked quite a bit. So uh, again, some indication that people are still moving forward with their projects. There's still permits being submitted, um, all of which hopefully will, will come to realize in, in new development. And, you know, of course, that's the big piece of that. People are working. Businesses are hopefully uh, earning a profit. And those things are key to our economy. And uh, that's continued on. And, of course, while we're very conscious of the fact of those who have not been able to be employed during this, uh, maybe this is an opportunity for them to either pivot to another career or potentially be ready and have the support in the economy when they get back to work, hopefully, as soon as possible. But um, in terms of the future and what you're thinking about what happens with PDS, you're not quite in the role full time. But uh, do you have any insights and thoughts about uh, maybe your vision as to what PDS does in terms of planning and visioning and whatnot for Kenton County as we move forward? Um, Judge, I believe that it's always important for an organization to sort of reinvent itself, you know, after, you know, X number of years. And uh, we've been in existence for 60 years now, and we've had some great leadership. Um, I think it's a good time for us as a, as a community to sort of band together and figure out what we need this vision for PDS to be. Um, and, and this organization has had a, a great history of community impact and absolutely want to continue that moving forward. And there's a lot of players involved. Um, you know, our board, our council is, is essentially made up of elected officials from all of our cities in, in this county. And so it's going to be important to, to bring their vision to fruition along with that of mine and of staff. Uh, but I really see us, I mean, our, our basic uh, core uh, principle is based in customer service. So uh, we, we absolutely want to keep that going. Uh, we want to be more economic development focused because we are an essential partner in that role. And I saw that when I was at the city. Uh, in order for a new development to happen, there is, you know, part of it is the permitting process. And if we can be as um, customer centric as we possibly can with that process, that's going to bring in good economic development into the county. So I kind of see us, um, you know, elevating our stance when it comes to economic development and working with our partner agencies on that. Um, but, um, but a lot of the services that we provide, um, um, you know, I would, I would like to continue to see us be uh, a lot more customer service focused. But all of this, again, as you know, the, this agency has a lot of partners, a lot of entities, a lot of jurisdictions uh, that play into it. And so it's really important for, for our new board and for us to sort of um, uh, encompass all of their um, uh, vision into this one, one big vision for the agency. Well, and from, from sitting on the outside watching and the, your newer board is also those who have been around for a while and then the, the support of the, the great staff that you now get to help lead. 
uh, it's obviously just exciting to see what the future holds, even in these unsettling times, to know that that team's there. And uh, as the work continues to support economic development and investment in our community, it's really an exciting time. So I wish the best for you and your new role and uh, look forward to supporting you in any way we can. Thank you, Judge. I appreciate you having me here.